What is up Jaguar fans? Welcome back into another video. Jaguars are currently two and two running a two game winning streak. And our current quarterback right now, Gardner Minshew is two and one as a starter. And we've got to talk about Gardner Minshew a little bit. This guy has become a legend, <laughs> a complete Jacksonville legend. And it came in a very strange way. Obviously, the Jaguars paid a bunch of money to Nick Foles to be the franchise quarterback. He doesn't even last a quarter for the Jaguars. And then Gardner Minshew comes in there against the Chiefs and goes 22 for 25 that game and tosses like three touchdown passes. Two or three. I forget how many. Actually, let's see exactly how many. He threw... Two touchdown passes that day. And since then, Gardner Minshew has been electric, man. He is already thrown for 905 passing yards. He has a 69.4% completion percentage on the year. Seven touchdowns versus one interception. And that one interception wasn't even his fault. It, it literally went off of Fournette's face mask. It, it wasn't his fault. So, I mean, Gardner Minshew has been very, very near perfect. And you really got to ask yourself, like, is Gardner Minshew our franchise quarterback? It, it, it doesn't feel real. It, it really doesn't. Now, if Gardner Minshew, you know, if Kyler Murray were playing like Gardner Minshew and you drafted, you know, him number one overall, it'd be like, we hit on this pick. Let's go. We've got our guy. He's playing terrific. But... When you draft somebody in the sixth round, you you just kind of draft somebody because, you know, you might want to develop a quarterback, um, see if he can hang on to a roster spot. Jaguars did it in 2018. They drafted the quarterback in the sixth round by the name of Tanner Lee. He didn't really work out. They tried it again. They got a guy named Garner Minshew, and <laughs> he's been incredible. I mean, he really has. There's no there's no other way to put it. The guy... The guy does everything right. I'm still trying to figure out what he doesn't do good. I mean, you look at him. He looks completely comfortable in the pocket. He's completely poised. He scans the whole entire field. He's incredibly accurate. He's a leader. And, you know, one thing, one reason why I wasn't all that high on him coming out was he didn't really have very good arm strength. And he's not a very big guy. You know, he's like six feet tall, I think. But there was one throw that he had this last game against Denver that pretty much sold me on him. And it wasn't anything super spectacular, but it was the final drive of the game. And it was when he hit D.D. Westbrook on that out route. Those out routes are why you need to have good arm strength. And that ball zipped there. That ball was on the line and it got there. And... It was a big reason why we won the game. And I was just so incredibly imp impressed with that pass that he had. And <laughs> and he led the Jaguars down the field and won the game for us. Like, we haven't had that in so long. I mean, in my whole entire life, you know, as a Jaguars fan, obviously, you know, we had the, you know, the main quarterbacks that the Jags have had are like Mark Brunel, They've had Byron Lethwich, David Garrard, Chad Henney, uh, Blaine Gabbert, Blake Bortles. Like, I didn't live through the Mark Burnell era. So, like, like Garner Minshew is automatically the best quarterback I've seen in a Jags uniform. David Garrard has had his moments, but he had a lot of inconsistencies. And, you know, he, he, he would throw the ball into harm's way a lot. I mean, when you look at Garner Minshew, there hasn't been one ball that he's thrown where it's like, you know, you know some games where it's like, oh, you know, like, like Blake Bortles. I'll just use Blake Bortles as an example. It's like, oh, Blake Bortles threw for two touchdowns, zero interceptions, good game. Yeah, but, you know, at least three of those balls could have been picked off. Let's be real. We haven't had to say that about Gardner Minshew. Like, not once. I mean, Gardner Minshew has thrown a ball, like, you know, to, like, where opponents could have gotten it. But he's, he's thrown a situation where it's like, oh, a back shoulder throw to Chark. Oh, um, split the coverage and throw it to D.D. Westbrook like he did on a Thursday night game against the Titans. You know, he times out these balls. The A couple of his best plays in the game last against Denver were, was when he 
wouldn't go down. He was standing up in a pocket. He got out of he got out of pressure and he made the throws and it it, it just feels surreal because like you know like we like I said we got him in the sixth round all of a sudden he's playing really good and it's like this doesn't really happen very often you know sometimes you get guys late like you know obviously Tom Brady was the guy that was a sixth round pick that everyone talks about but when you look at kind of the moralistic guys, it's like, oh, sometimes you can find guys in the third round. You know, Russell Wilson was a third round pick. Dak Prescott, I think, was a fourth round pick. So sometimes you find guys kind of late, but literally, Gardner Minshew was the 10th quarterback taken in the 2019 NFL draft. There were quarterbacks taken before him, guys like Ryan Finley, Jared Stidham, Easton Stick, Clayton Thorson. So, I mean, like, it's crazy to see the guys taken before him and like, you know, thank God Nick Foles, like, it wasn't like a four-week entry and he comes back this week because, I mean, there would really be a debate on what you do. You know, I would go with the hot hand with Gardner Minshew, but, you know, luckily Gardner Minshew will get at least four more games, I think four or five more games. I think he gets five more games before Nick Foles gets off the IR and the Jaguars will have if Garner Minshew keeps playing like this, I mean they'll have no they'll have no choice but to play him. But man, it's exciting. He he sees salvage this season for us, Garner Minshew. I mean most most times when your starting quarterback goes down, you are down and out. But not the Jaguars. The Jaguars are alive, man. Running a two-game winning streak, tied for first place in the AFC South. It's it's a lot of fun. It really is. And the city of Jacksonville has embraced Gardner Minshew. You know, with the whole Uncle Rico, jockstrap king stuff. It's just, it, it really is a lot of fun. And I, I'm, I'm excited to see what Gardner Minshew can do over the next few weeks. And, you know, we're a quarter of the way through the regular season already. The NFL schedule kind of sneaks up on you like that, but we got the Carolina Panthers coming up next. I'll be coming out with my preview video in the next couple days, um, and I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Just want to talk with you guys on Gardner Minshew. Let me know in the comments section, guys. Do you think Gardner Minshew is our franchise quarterback? If not, why do you think he's not? I want to know what you guys have to say. Go Jaguars, and I'm out.